So default effects uh, is something that we encounter uh, every day. Defaults are all around us. So what is a default? A default is when you're asked to make a choice and the, uh, the decision architecture suggests an answer. And the, uh, the default effect is when the option which the chooser ends up with if she does not make an active choice. That's the default. You went with the default that was, uh, that was offered to you. It changes the probability um, that, uh, for example, an investor would, would choose a particular option when it is set as a default. Um, uh, or, uh, let's say, in the context of retirement plans, if there is a default um, deferral rate, the percentage of payroll that is, that is contributed to the plan each paycheck. Uh, if the default is set at 6%, uh, the default effect would cause the probability of the six uh, percent to be chosen uh, to go um, to go way up. So that's really what defaults do for us. So why do defaults uh, have this effect? Um, it's assumed that um, the person or the organization that set the default was knowledgeable of the uh, of the topic. Uh, in many cases, we're asked to make decisions, and we don't know what the right decision is. We're not technically capable or trained to make that decision, and so we're looking for clues. Essentially, uh, a default is a clue being sent out by what is assumed to be knowledgeable people that have good intentions and is uh, also, in a sense, uh, trying to nudge us toward making what a knowledgeable force knows is the right decision. So that's really what a default is.